the object of the sentence becomes on the first part. And the boys who doesn't have anybody to leave, they take care of the dogs. So there is a redundancy of the subject. But aside from that, I must add the relative pronouns. So you have here, I got a friend, speaks fat Spanish. Whenever you say relative pronouns, mostly uh, we are reminded of those sentences who uses the words who. Who uses the words um, the WH, who, where, you know, because it pertains to the noun. I got a friend speaks Spanish. And then I got a friend, he speaks Spanish. Until you have the correct construction. I got a friend who speaks Spanish. The proper usage of relative pronouns. Ellis, in 1984, attempted to summarize the development of progression in longitudinal studies. On the first stage, although I have only given you four, for examples, but some are three. But there is a development regardless of how many examples was provided. In the first stage, you can see it is characterized by a standard word order. What the child knows is what the child will only speak. That is the first stage. The second stage is that the learner expands his propositions to include all or most of the constituents required and also begins to vary the word order of utterance. So you still have a, that word order, but you are entertaining already some constituents of the target language. The third stage, the grammatical morphemes begin to be used systematically and meaningfully. So you already learned how to construct sentences grammatically correct and the last one you have the last stage the acquisition of complex sentence structures such as embedded so you have that progression that structured word order which probably is really ungrammatical and then you tend to entertain uh, the constituents of a target language the subsystems of it and then you have already learned how to construct sentences properly until on the last part, the acquisition of complex sentence structures such as embedded in general. If you will be having that last stage in all of the systems of the language, you could have the successful language you know, acquisition. You have really learned the language. So that talks about the interlanguage and the natural route of development so with all of that can we answer now the question is there really a natural route of development so the answer is now in your head so that ends my discussion i think dr kayago will post something on my discussion on our school book I hope you learned a thing or two. Stay safe, everyone, and God bless you.